Inside town hall, right in the area of the supervisor's office, we have a report of a suspicious party hanging outside the door. Ma'am. You can, can walk you, back that way. Yeah. Keep walking wanna, back that way. Can you de-escalate a little bit? Because I feel like you're trying to just exert your authority over me and I don't like I'm it. I'm not. I'm speaking to you in my normal voice. You have no authority over me. Okay? Actually, I do. I'm don't touch that dial now. We're just getting started. That's a fast selection of shop. Remember. Papa. Jobs catering whatever you taste. Please hold the line. Norad. AWS. Fox Rod 77. Let's go. This is your boy Ghosty. Chasing your darkness. Jagger Papa TV. However you want to call me. I am your boy. We're going to do another reaction video. I'm trying to make it quick and fast for you guys to, you know, so you guys won't get bored out of it. I'm free. But anyways, we're gonna watch Long Island Order. This guy's amazing, and Ooh. oh, mm. that be is fire. Hold up, it's like popping, pump, 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 pump. I don't know how to pop. It's just fire. Ooh, mm. Nah, 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 chill, chill. I'm getting goosebumps right now. Let me just get straight to the thing. Uh, subscribe to my boy, Long Island Order. He's not my boy yet, but uh, he's pretty cool. I would love to get to know him. But subscribe to his channel. This is one of my favorite videos. It's called The Walk of Shame. Uh, one of the biggest Walk of Shame ever. He's very respectful. He introduced himself in front of the building before he go inside and practice his First Amendment rights. Anyways, that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoy. Hit the description it's gonna be down below. Subscribe, like, and share. Hit him up because I know you guys, you know, if you don't know him, you will. But if you do, thumbs up. All right, let's get to this. Peace. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today, we are at the town hall here in Ramapo, New York. We are here today to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants treat us with respect and respect our rights. Let's get into it. We have the supervisor's office here, Michael B. Specht. Hey, how are you? Excuse me? You need a mask. No one else? Yeah. Has, she doesn't have a mask. They don't have masks. Yes, I work here. She just a supervisor. They don't have masks, ma'am. Please, you need masks. But they don't have masks. How can she you? She just came out the office. Okay, so what does that mean? Why you, why, don't videotape me. What? Don't I'm, videotape I'm, a, I'm going to videotape you. Why? For sure. Because I, that's what I do. Transparency and accountability, ma'am. Transparency ensures that information is available that can be used to measure the authority's performance and to guard against any possible misuse of powers. In that sense, transparency serves to achieve accountability, which means that authorities can be held responsible for their actions. You need a mask. Oh, you have to. Okay, let me call the office. You can call whoever you'd like, ma'am. There's people in this building walking around without masks. That's hypocritical. Sir? Yes, ma'am. Are, are you videotaping? I am videotaping. That's correct. What happened? What Why do you mean? You Why? Yeah. I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story. Who are you? I'm Penny Mann. I work in the supervisor's office. Penny? Yes. Mann? Yes. You work in the supervisor's office? Yeah. Okay. And um, you can't videotape in here. Why can't, why can't I videotape in here? It's not legal to videotape. It's not legal. No. Alright, so I don't know on top of my head, but I'm going to read this for you. Taking photographs and video of things that are plainly visible in public spaces is a constitutional right. And that includes transportation facilities, the outside of a federal buildings, and police and other government officials. Oh, do you have business here? I'll put it that way to you. Do you have business here? Yeah, of course I have business here. Okay, what is it? This is a public building, ma'am. I don't. I, why I would I need to explain that. to you my I, business I here? I understand that. You get no argument from me. Okay. This is a public building. 
Okay, great. I'm glad we can agree on that. Exactly. So, do you have business here? Is there an office that you're going to? Damn, yo, she literally just got out of the office after calling 911. This is where Long Island Audit requests um, the dispatch to get the audio recording of the call that she made. I mean, it's not her voice, but this is what the dispatch was saying, sending the police officers to go over and check out what's going on. And uh, this is the recording right here. Inside Town Hall, right near the supervisor's office, we have a report of a suspicious party hanging outside the door. Our caller hung up on us before we could get a description. We're going to try calling them back. The mail party's supposed to have a video pair on these taping. I'm sorry? Is yeah, but why, 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 why would I need to tell you my business here, though? Because you can't, you cannot legally be here if you don't have business here. Sure, I can. This is a public, we agreed that this is a public building, ma'am. Yes, it is a public building. So it's open to, to the public. Loiter. It's you not loitering. Loiter. I just told you I'm an independent journalist. Uh, okay. I have freedom so of press, ma'am. Do you have a reason to be here? Yes, I do. I just told you. I'm an you independent said, journalist. Your hat says, We the People. We the People. Yes, my hat. You like we're, it? We're all the... I love the hat. I love the hat. Okay. Great. I'm happy. We're all the people. Hey, you, you can grab me one if you want, if we're all going to follow the rules now. So, question. I'd appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. I will. I'm just talking to her really quick. She wants to talk to me. So, Penny. So, question. Mm-hmm. Why are you taping? Let me ask you that. I, I, I just... I don't I know. know. I feel like we're going around a circle. I'm an independent no. journalist working on a story. Okay. What is your story? My story, I, I don't want to divulge that until it's published. Okay. I don't want to divulge that. Not not right now, this time. Thank you, ma'am. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Joanne, did you Okay. Meet? I'm going to continue about my business. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So this is the part where it gets intense. I did see this video uh, yesterday, and um, it was very... It was crazy watching this, but <laughs> oh my god, this is where it does get intense and it also became a walk of shame. Enjoy. You can stay right there, that's fine. You don't need to approach me. Excuse me? You can stay right there. I don't need to approach you? No, you can stay right back there. You can walk back that way. Ma'am. You can, can walk you... back that way. Yeah. Keep walking wanna... back that way. Can you de-escalate a little bit? Because I feel like you're trying to just exert your authority over me and I don't like I'm it. I'm not. I'm speaking to you in my normal voice. You have no authority over me. Okay? Actually, I do. I'm in a public building. I'm conducting lawful business. And they're asking you business. to leave. I'm conducting lawful business. No, they didn't. That's yes, a lie. Yes, they did. They did not ask me to they leave. They asked you to leave and they said that you I'm were conducting no longer allowed to be I'm here. I'm conducting business. So therefore, you need to leave the location. I'm conducting business. I'm doing a Freedom of Information Act request. They asked you to leave. So you're saying, can I get a supervisor here? Right here. Right there. Hi, I'm conducting lawful business. I'm an okay. independent journalist, exercising my freedom of freedom of press right. Okay. It's a right, not a privilege. Freedom of press. This is a public building. You guys have one, two, three, four, five officers here, six, including yourself, Sergeant. Okay. It's completely uncalled for. I'm trying to conduct business. Okay. What is your business? What are you trying to I'm do? I'm doing a freedom of information request, mm -hmm. which is a law. Okay. And I'm also gathering content for a story. Right now, we were called here by the people who work in this office building. Okay. They are concerned for their safety and their well-being that there is somebody in here. They've asked you to step out and to leave and to stop they did, the video. They did not. Here. I have it on camera. They did not ask me to leave. Okay. Well, that's what they're relaying to us. Okay. So that's a that lie. That's why we are here right now. I'm not going to dispute truth or fact right now. I'm going to tell you that is why we're here right now. We are going to conduct our investigation. That's fine. Okay. Conduct whatever to, investigation you like. for your ID. Because we do need to know who we're speaking with right now. You're going to ask for That's my ID. Part, yes, I am. So, in That's order. Part of our investigation. Okay. In order for me. For, I just want to just. I, I, I listen to you, so I would ask you just listen to me. I don't need to assist you in your investigation. I don't work for the police department. Uh -huh. I don't want to assist you in your investigation into me for whatever reason. Do you have a crime that you suspect me of committing? Do you we're have reasonable, here, articulable here suspicion? On an investigation of the complaint, yes. Do you have reasonable, articulable suspicion I've committed a crime? We're not saying that you committed a crime. We are here to investigate a complaint right now. So if you haven't, if I, if you're saying that I haven't committed a crime, then I don't have to provide you my ID lawfully. So I'm not going to. Okay, then I'm going to ask you to step out of this building and to leave this building. I'm conducting business, ma'am. Okay. At this point, you were asked that, that you were not allowed welcome here anymore, and we were going to ask you. To but leave you can't stop building. somebody from recording. You can't okay. stop somebody I'm, from from gathering. I never asked you to stop recording. That is not what I've asked you to do. I asked you're asking to me to leave the, a public you are, building, yes, ma'am. No Can I get your name? In this building, no. my name is Sergeant Mayor. Sergeant Mayor, and your badge number? Yes, four five six. Four five six. And are you telling me that if I don't leave this building, you're going to arrest me? I'm telling you right now that you're going to leave this building. Yes. No, but okay, I just I just want to know. I said I'm not going to, to argue with you back and forth. Let's step outside. Are you an attorney, building. sir? 
this is actually our I'm house the town right supervisor. Here. I am an attorney, supervisor. but I'm not here in that capacity. Okay. I just walk down the hall. Sir, so maybe, happy. maybe, maybe I can speak to you, and we can we can come to a better understanding here. Well, I'm not, um, I'm not going to speak to you while you're filming me. You're free to film me, but I'm not going to have a discussion on camera with I'm you. I'm an independent journalist. Yeah, That's but you're wonderful. violating my. But your officers, you're the supervisor, so I just want to let you know you're opening yourself up to civil. And you said you're a lawyer. You're opening yourself to civil litigation. All I'm doing is I'm peacefully filming. I'm not bothering anybody. I have to do a FOIL request with the town clerk's office. I have official business here. I'm exercising my constitutional right. That's all I'm doing, peacefully. And you're gonna kick me out of a public building? I'm gonna ask you to give me one minute. Okay, great, no problem. You guys really don't have nothing better to do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight yes. officers for one man with a camera. I'm not a bad guy. I'm not, a, I'm not nefarious. I don't have any ill intent here. I don't understand. What's the big deal? Somebody can't film? You have cameras. One, two, three, four, five, six cameras all over this building. What's the difference? I don't understand. Seems like a big waste of resources for your city here. Really does really does. Can I get your name and badge number? Officer Since everybody wants to be here. What is it? Officer Winter, like the season. Okay. Can I get your name and badge number? Right here, boss. Right here? Is that R-I-G-H-T? Right here. Oh, okay. Simpson, 524. All right, can I get your name and badge yes, number? Harrington, 5 and 4, 9. Thank you, Harrington. Yeah, Appreciate sure. it. Can I get your name and badge number, sir? Huh? Can I get your name and badge number, please? Hey, okay, what you say? Can I get your name and badge number, please? Oh, yeah. Uh, my last name's Mitchell. Mitchell? Yeah. Your badge number? 496. Thank you, Mitchell. Can I get your name? No, I'm not going to give it. Yeah. What yeah, do you I'm in, I just showed up. I don't even know what's going on. I'm in fear of retaliation, so I'm not going to give my name. It's my Fourth Amendment right. Oh. No, I'm just here. I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story, doing a Freedom of Information Act request. That's all I'm doing here. What'd they call us? I don't know, because, I'm, because I have a camera in my hand. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. Doesn't make sense to me either. Doesn't make sense. Excuse me? Am I, am I being detained? You are being asked to stay here for our investigation. Am I being detained? You are temporarily being detained as, okay. we, as we commit our investigation. Unlawful detainment. You can call it how you... It is an unlawful... You have to learn the law. If you're going to uphold the law, you took an oath to the Constitution. Freedom of press is part of the Constitution. You have to... If you're going to uphold it, you have to learn it. This is an illegal detainment. You can't detain me unless, you've, unless you suspect that I'm committing a crime. This is all things you should have learned in the academy. And as a supervisor, I think that's, you know, you should really know. You cannot detain somebody legally without you having uh, suspected me of committing a crime. This is ridiculous. Okay, yes. okay. Thank you. Can I get your name, sir? Can Lieutenant I get your Dolan. Lieutenant Dolan? Thank you, Lieutenant. You guys are dismissed. Please don't detain me unlawfully anymore. No, she, no, 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 no. In your building? No. I, if he's not doing anything illegal or dangerous or disruptive, exactly. that's fine with me. It's, it's okay. my right to be in this building. All right. as long as he this is a taxpayer building. The rules, then... This is the taxpayer's okay. building. Okay. Okay but thank you very building. much. And, and by the way, she did detain me. Uh, Just so you know. Just so you know, it's on it's on, it's on camera. She okay. did detain me. Well, so that's an unlawful detainment. Uh, I'm not going to detain me. Okay. Great. Take care, guys. This is the biggest uh, walk of shame I've ever seen. Completely insane, uncalled for. Ah, uh, my kings and queens. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, go ahead, subscribe to Long Island Audit. I've been watching his video as well like crazy. Uh, I have a lot of videos coming through. Um, I got Mondays. I was thinking about doing it every other day, so I got Monday, Wednesdays, and maybe Saturday. Um, as you know, I do have another channel which is called Ch uh, Chasing the Darkness Paranormal. I almost forgot. Uh, I do all my paranormal videos, but what I'm gonna do on this page for now on Ghosty, uh, I'm gonna put videos on Sunday as well. I'm I'm gonna mix it. You know, don't get me wrong. It's not only gonna be audit. It's gonna be other stuff. Uh, maybe blog sometimes. Maybe gaming. Who knows? Uh, but so far, this is what I like doing. I love not only auditing, but just of editing. Put it like this. You know, I love editing. I love putting videos out. I hope you guys enjoy all this craziness i'm gonna put but sundays i'm gonna put scary sundays i said another title but i'm gonna put a video of any scary videos if you guys want to request any videos of it uh send it to me on my email it's gonna be down below as well on the description i'm gonna put scary videos 
uh, I don't know what time. I was thinking about two o'clock in the afternoon, and at three on my other channel is when, when I'm going to put another video of my investigation, my paranormal investigation. Uh, somebody in the comment asked me, "Oh, stop taking people's videos and go uh, do your own thing." I mean, I kind of do my own thing. I I go out every single week. I freaking go to haunted places. I find the most haunted places that I can find. I famous places as well too that you have seen probably ghost adventures, ghost hunters, and all the ghost investigators. Uh, investigator, you know that does what i do too but i have investigated the conjuring house you guys want to see that i got waverly i got so many amazing places maggie mansion the washer club bro i've been out every single week and investigating so if you guys are interested and hopefully i'm not talking too fast because i talk pretty fast but hopefully you guys can catch up <laughs> but um yeah if you guys want to see scary videos go hop on my other channel which is chasing the doctor's paranormal and uh that's about it uh, i'll see you guys uh Every other day. Peace.